Welcome to our location and welcome to my new film. Okay, what you can see here, this is the, um, the main location um, for the family in this film. Uh, our leading lady, uh, Indira, she lives here. Um, so that's the main location, a uh, wonderful location. And if you come this way, I'll take you around a little bit. This is our um, second location. We're not filming really inside this house, but this house is going to be used by um, the, the kind of nosy neighbour, Mary. She's backwards and forwards from one house to the other. This side, actually, there is a farm here, um, so we have to be careful during shooting. There's animals and everything going on. This is the trailer, director's trailer. <laughs> Follow me, this way. Take 5C. Okay, action. Oh, this is supposed to be good for your joint. It's bloody killing mine. You're out of fit. That's well not you. Coming. This is one of the offices. It's not not really for well. We are going to use it for one scene, I believe. We've been given permission now, which is fantastic. Come straight through. There's more. We're going this way through. Okay, cameras rolling. Scene 115, take 10. Okay, and here we go. Stand by. We've done the gone bit already, Nick. It's okay. We're all just crying. Action. This is the, uh, the boxing ring. Uh, we've used this for uh, one of the scenes in the film with um, uh, Atlanta and um, a deal of boxing. Up here is amazing, come and check this place out. <sighs> so here is the gym. Uh, we've used the gym in the film as well. We had our two leading actors uh, on the treadmill here, pounding away, which is fantastic. Um, again, you can see the whole farm area. It's, it's a wonderful location. Um, and to be honest with you, I've been very lucky uh, I'm very blessed that we've been given permission to film here, uh, which I'm so grateful for. Follow me down, I'll show you around the, uh, around the other house. So this is our main location that we're using for the family. Um, this is a lovely, lovely property. Come on in. And I will show you around. Come on in. Careful of the carpet. And if you hear some banging, because there's a band in the recording studio. Um, Here's everybody. Nobody working, as you can see. See, of course you see working. Okay. <laughs> I'm very clear, you, Mr. Derrick. <laughs> These are actors you've already met already. Yeah. This is Tim. He's helping on sound. Oh. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> this is wardrobe department over here, and everybody. Okay. You come on through. Follow me around. Follow me around. This is my daughter. <laughs> this is my daughter. Always on the phone, I don't know who she's texting, I don't know. We have to have a word, you know. Okay. <laughs> and come out here. Just keep my voice down because of the band in the recording studio. They have a recording studio here. So this is the, the lovely garden. I'm the director, Stephen Drew, and um, we're actually in the location. Uh, location uh, trailer here. And to my left is uh, one of the leading actresses, uh, Indira, yep. who's also a, uh, a singer and a very good singer, I must say. Oh, thank you. And, uh, and to my right is uh, Mr. Sira. Uh, he's a, a, a known actor, um, worked in Bollywood over the years and also in the UK and on many films. Okay, right, so um, obviously I, I've cast you in uh, one of the leading roles along with Indira, um, playing your own name, Mr. Sira. Um, how do you feel uh, about this, this, this film? What, what's your feedback on your character and the storyline and uh, the crossover of the Asian, British Asian type movie? I was, uh, first I was a little bit dubious uh, what's going on, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and when I met you at uh, auditions and interviews over there at your place, then I feel, felt very confident. Because I mean, oh, here's a guy who wants to do something wonderful, and he's dedicated to that. And uh, he thought, right, whatever he says, I'm going to support him. Right, right. You know, that was my Thank you. Thank you. thing. Now, the character first, it was a small character, and then I think after his first audition, second, he thought, well, I, I believe he can do it. So he gave me a main part in the Very film. True. So I'm playing Mr. Sira myself in the film. A uh, little bit of a flirt. Yeah, you indeed know. he is. <laughs> indeed <laughs> he is. <laughs> How do you feel slotting into that role? Um, and obviously, I mean, the, the film that we're making, I and mean, the, the viewers don't know, it's it's a, a comedy um, 
Um, there's a secret in the family which is revealed after the, uh, the, the husband dies, um, and it's, it's about swinging, but it is a comedy. Um, how do you feel about that topic, you know, being put out there as a, as a, as a movie and being Asian involved in that kind of film? Well, I, I feel okay. I feel okay in the sense that uh, uh, it's, it's a comedy, it's a lovely film, and the uh, sequences are, um, you know, happenings. Mm. It's not uh, made to happen, but it just happens. Yeah. You know, the whole thing, that's the how. No, no, no. I'm serious. I always have fun. We can go out for a meal and then go on to a discotheque. I can really shake my bum. <laughs> Oh, if only you were my age. Besides, I think you'd wear me out. The chance would be a fine thing. And uh, I love doing it because I, I feel like, uh, I mean, to me it seems very natural. Right. You know, it's just a natural feeling which comes in there. And the character is good. Mm. I like the character, you know. Yeah. And though it's coming up bit by bit, at first I thought, my God, it's a sexy film. It's mm. at this time, you know, <laughs> and for the Asians, uh, going into that is kind of crossing over the line, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. But then I think eventually, I believe, Steve, uh, you have done it's not You're not crossing the line, but still it's there. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's yeah. visible. Yeah. It's visible. And that m becomes very, very obvious. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. it's lovely. And do you think that this film, you know, if it uh, gets released in India, let's say it does, would... Do you think um, Asian people be offended um, in the concept of what we got in the film, or do you think no, it no, will... not they won't be offended because nowadays they're very, very open now. Right. It used to be earlier you can't even touch something. Uh, you find uh, if you want to have a kiss, it's two flowers meeting together, mm. you know that comes there. But nowadays it's open. You mm. can have a proper kiss. You can mm. have a proper hug. Hug. You can mm. have all that. So the. the Mumbai or your Bollywood is very very open to now. Yeah, you know yeah. it's a modern world, present world, which is uh, because of the internet and all that lot. Uh, there's no difference. Sure, it'll be accepted. Yeah, it'll be accepted. It'll be accepted because that's the reality. Of what's happening here, and this film is a real thing. Right. Yeah. I, I agree with that. Yeah. Obviously, being the writer. Um, Secrets from the past. Scene one twenty. Take four. Stand by. Action! Well, the service went on well. Yes. Yes, it did. Where are you going to go now? Me? Oh, uh, well, I have got my old pack in Kensington, and uh, I'll be all right. I suppose you'll be selling this place now, won't you? I guess so. 27, take close up four. Come on, a bit lower, Tim, bit lower. Bit lower, Tim, bit lower. And that's it. Okay, stand by. Action! So, how are things between the two of you now, darling? As jolly as ever. He doesn't understand me, and I don't understand him. Perfect marriage, I guess. So no action in the bedroom, then? Martha, please. I don't want to speak to you about my sex life. Oh, I'm only trying to help. Okay, so Sandy, if you've um, you've been around a while actually in the in the film world as such with voiceovers and, and Hollywood films, haven't you? Uh, yeah, on and off. On and off. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And take close up in there. Okay, quiet, please. This Nice sound and action. Uh, my family, um, thank you for all being here. Thank you for being here. Uh, what can I say? My husband, my partner, a rock, a life. Killing, which I, I had a small role in Ollie Killing as well, um, which you were in as well. You had a, a nice role in that one, didn't you? That was 
was really nice because it was one of those subjects at that time when we filmed it. It was really current at that time yeah, purely because yeah. there were a lot of cases which surfaced at the time. Right. And everyone was talking about it. So yeah. it's a very hard hitting subject that one. Yeah. So in that sense to be involved with something which was so real yeah, was really yeah. good to be a part of the whole process and yeah, yeah. Uh, talk about those issues. So that was really, yeah. Uh, so how do you really feel about um, this script, I mean, again, I was saying to Mr. Sir and India, it's it's a, a, a black comedy uh, in some ways, I guess. It's got its funny moments, but it, it turns quite serious when we start, um, you know, um, acting out scenes regarding people having cancer and so on, or even lady having cancer. How do you feel about this script and the journey this film is taking? I really like the script. I mean, as you know, I mean, that's when we got together because mm -hmm. you told me about it and I thought... Yes. Scene 34, take close-up Sandy. Okay, and just your lines. You can do both if you want, but I think we're only going to pick yours up, really. Action! Mum, what's going on? What's all this about? Who's this bloody woman? Are you going to answer me? So, I really like that, but also when we talk about cancer, that's one of the issues. Mm. And there's also another issue that we talk about. I'm not sure if we're talking about, if we're giving that away right yeah, now. Yeah, we have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah it's all there. Yeah. <laughs> so, when we talk about all these issues, and okay, yes, we can say it doesn't happen in the community, but mm, mm. I know a lot of people, they might not out loud agree that it happens, yeah. but it happens. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> Okay. In this situation... I know, I know, I know, I know. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. yeah, camera rolling. One thirteen. Take four, close up. And... Action! Indira! Indira! That's it. I'm going to call the ambulance. Hello? Ambulance? Ambulance, please! Cut. Okay, so how do you feel about this, this role? I mean, obviously, again, it is a black comedy, can we say, um, and it starts with the swinging thing, and your husband's past comes out, who, who dies in the film, as we know, um, and then there's a darker side of going into cancer and everything else, so there's a, a real serious side to this movie. Um, it takes a turn sort of halfway through and, and families sort of arguing and falling out and so on. What, what's your view on the story in general and your character? It's, it's what's going on everywhere, you know. Uh, in some societies it's behind closed doors, some mm. of the stuff that goes on, people refer to it. I mean, I, I remember when I got married being told that there were swinging parties in Mumbai and I used to think, no. You know, oh, really? Okay, this I was aware of that. In Mumbai. <laughs> yeah, and I, my mother-in-law actually told me the first time about that there were swinging parties around and she said oh, about my father-in-law and her being invited to one of these things. And then as you live and learn, you realise when someone says, no, no, I want both of you to come up and, you know, please, please, let's come up and continue the party upstairs, you realise that people actually don't, <laughs> don't mean come and have a cup. Scene 17, take four. Here we go, and positions, and back from the camera a little bit, and action. Are you crazy? An orgy? Me? Well, I can't go on my own. You're supposed to be my best friend. Why the bloody hell do you want to go? I just want to know what you found so interesting, you know? I'll tell you what he found interesting, a bunch of dirty housewives desperate for an extra few inches with the French <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Actually, I think Mr. Sierra's character um, is a little bit of a devil in a sense, a bit of a cheeky one, yeah, really, isn't he? Yeah. Because he, he comes in, he, he kind of feeds you a line that he's looking for companionship and everything else, and it appears he's still up to, to no good, which well, you're he's, not actually aware he's of. just being a typical man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that line there before. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> and coming to the, the whole cancer side, I mean, this is a serious um, uh, uh, thing for everybody. Um, anyone that's been sort of around uh, cancer or has experienced a, a loss or a loved one and so on. And dead quiet, everybody. Action. How are you, Mrs. Randall? I'll stop being so bloody formal, Si. I've known you long enough. I know. So how can I help? 
I found a lump. I see. And where's the lump? Um, on my left breast, and more recently another on the right. Okay, let's take a look. It's a difficult area, and how do you feel about that being portrayed in the film? Obviously, it's been portrayed in a sensible fashion. So. That's one of the reasons I wanted to do the part, is um, because I'm, I've recently lost a friend to pancreatic cancer, and two of my friends are seriously ill with cancer at the moment. And I do a lot of work towards pancreatic cancer, and I'm writing songs for it and raising money for it, so anything to do with cancer and the cause is important to me. So yeah. I considered it one of the leading reasons to take the role, to be honest. Right, right. And a friend of mine's going through uh, chemo at the moment, and um, in a way, I tried to feel her life mm. when I did the scenes of, you know, the, right. the patient as such. And uh, it actually made me understand her more. Mm, mm, mm. In some way, I know it sounds a bit uh, superficial, <laughs> but it isn't. It actually does make you understand yeah. the role better. Yeah. yeah. Take two, scene twenty-four, C. And action! Yay! 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 <laughs> now we always have a party here. Hey, Sanjay, do you remember what your boss oh. told you? What to do with a briefcase? Shove it up, up your ass and don't, don't come, come back. back. Secrets from the past, scene 31, take eight. What's the light, what's the light up there, Tim? Um, action! Action! Ah, you must be the new boy. Yeah, I guess that's me, yeah. I'm Layla, Layla Green. Nice to meet you, Layla Green. Nice Dirty boy, I'm gonna ride you all the way to heaven. Oh, oh Jesus Christ, son. Do I know you? Me, Sira. Oh. Got the focus? Okay. Let me believe you. Yeah. That's good. Here we go, guys. Stand by. Scene 90, take four. And action. Thanks. Thank you. Right, well, it seems we have a difficult situation. I mean, this house, it belongs in the family, the true family. I mean, it's not right, is it? He was nice to me, you know. We didn't sleep together or anything. We visited the parties on a regular basis. <laughs> 